Hello guys, and welcome back. This is Baconator77, and I'm here with another video. So, as in the last video of Lumber Tycoon 2, I bought this. The big one. The big sawmill. And today, I am going to be putting that in the position of this. This was the point where I was in with my friend, but he left. I'd have no idea why it still says this, but whatever. So, today, basically just going to be cleaning up, moving some stuff. Not really cleaning up, but moving some stuff to make the big sawmill fit. And once that does, I'll be able to cut very big trees. Don't know why I have... Oh, I, okay. I have that wire there because I ran out at one point. So... We have to remove these. And I the reason I have these is to make it so the wood would go in better. But I don't think... Oh, great. Just wonderful. Wonderful. I am now stuck. Oh, that's beautiful. So now I'm part of this. That's kind of funny. But there we go. That is kind of funny. So I had these just to make sure wood would go in but they don't work very well I think I'm gonna go switch over to wedges maybe see how that works but yeah so move the saw max actually don't want to put it there this is going to go in the sawmill graveyard I guess basically where I store all the random stuff in sawmills I'll probably use it again in another thing, but not right now. Remove these conveyors. I want to see actually how big this thing is. Because it's pretty much just the saw max, too, but a lot bigger. Like, this thing is huge. Rotate, rotate. Okay, let's, oh, this, this is, I think this is the same size as my old setup. Please tell me I don't have to move all this, because I don't want to. This is very glitchy. I don't want to move it. I think it's this, this one wire that's messing it up. I don't want to move this again. You know, I'm actually thinking of tearing this down and making a simpler version that doesn't use all this stupid stuff because it's a waste. Yeah, I probably should just do that. It would be more, well, it'd probably be a little less time consuming because I wouldn't have to figure out how to place my sawmill again. Basically, what this was for is, was, as you saw in earlier videos, you would just go here and it would do stuff, but I've come up with a simpler version that uses a lot less wires and a lot less um, delays and sustains. So I'm going to, I think that should work now. Yep. Oof. This is big. Hmm. That's... Has someone, like, glitched their sawmill? Because on other sawmills I saw that you could have, like, these going different ways. Well, whatever. 
It's kind of weird. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to increase it all. I'm going to go pretty much max because that's how I like it. That's max there. Oh, zero's back in. That's who I was talking to up in the chat. Wow, 18. Keep hands clear. Do not operate while intoxicated. Wow, that's that's great. That that's it's kind of funny. Okay, rotate, turn, rotate, turn. Basically, just do this forever. You know, I'm gonna test this. I think what would work better is if I put it like this. Not like that. It might work, but not like that. Wait. Hmm. That would work a lot better. So, that just gave me an idea. Randomly place that. I want it probably underneath this conveyor. No. Not that one. Underneath this one, because I want... Actually, there's really no point for this now. There is absolutely no point because the reason I had it is to make it to where I could chop wood and it would fit, but there's no point. And I'll put it in anyways because basically the setup's done right now and just make the video a little longer. Okay, so yeah. I want to take this part that I literally just placed it on. Um, turn, flip it around. Okay, that looks good. Now, I can't place that underneath. Oh, no, yes I can. Uh, I can still access it. So I'm going to activate, or open, I guess. That, that should work. And then, what will happen is... Instead of going down like this to where the wood could move, it will push the wood back after it cuts, allowing the wood to move and other things. Okay. That will work. I probably should leave that out for right now because I have to put in the wire. So, now I'm just going to get rid of the delays so I don't have this big long line of delays and sustains delay get rid of so how this is gonna work is it's just gonna get rid of the delays and then it'll go to sustains wait yes so and then it'll go to sustains I have no idea why I just placed that but I'm going to have a signal inverter. So leave room for that. So I'm going to have a signal inverter there. Now these are, I think, all max. Yeah, that should be good. Just to allow wood to get it through. So now that I have these together, um, I'm going to need an inverter from my box of random things. Yes, I have a this. Ooh, that if I'm inverter somewhere. Thought I had some. If I don't, that'd be kind of sad. There we are. Signal inverter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in the position where I had right here. And I wonder if I can get it right up next to it. I didn't want to quit, but whatever. Move wire. Move the wire. And grab the signal inverter again. So I can hopefully place it right up next to it to eliminate a wire. This is 
That's the one thing. It's sad. And the thing is, is I can't place it anywhere else without having to move one. Or I could just do this. So I would still have to have the wire, but... Wait. If I sustain that, that's gonna... Yep. That should work. I, I, just, I, I somewhat know what I'm doing sometimes. I like having my wares nice, too. As possible. Um, okay, that's applying power. It's going to power it all up. Okay. It's powered all up. Now I just need another one of wires to attach that to the... Wait. Oh, it works. Does it? Because that would keep it open all the time. What if I wanted to disable it? I would have to put a signal. Yeah, I'd have to put a signal. So what I would have to do is I would have to make two ways to put to the inverter. I'll figure it out later. This is the hard part. too long or something interrupting something is interrupting can I route the wire through here something is interrupting okay what's well, interrupting the wire path allow me to route it through there now can I route it yes that was if I have to put another wire, I'm going to be a little mad. I think i got to do it from the other side. And do a really weird angle. Come on. Wire too long. Great. Um, oh, try it maybe I can get it through here okay what's interrupting the wire path back it route it to only here let's see if I can come through here can I go up there no I'm gonna try to remove this because I don't really need it you may only build str I am on my land not going to reconnect it with another wire. I'll just do the stuff again. Okay, route it. Now I should be able to just... Yeah, that, I think that was the issue, having it too close. To the stuff in between. Finish. There we go. Okay. That works. So now, when I stone on operation, because I have to hook up the um, other thing wait when the chop saw is done I want it to stop but if I put an immediate signal into it that means nope I might have to add another sustainer to put it up but I don't know we'll figure it out 
Yeah, it's not neat, but I don't care for right now. Okay, so let me flick this on. Put another wire for the chop saw from here. I don't know if that'll work, but it should. And I'm just going to go the more lazier way and do that. Then I'll have to come from there. Connect it up to there. Floating wires. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. Okay. So system should be fully operational after that wire loads in. Okay. I click it. Chop saw goes. That turns off. Sustain stays on. Should be chopping no matter what thickness. It should be done. When I'm done, I step off. That goes down, but it's not going to go down for long. So I would have to sit here for who knows long after it's done chopping. But then that's going to keep going. Basically, wait till that turns off. Get back up. Oh, that, that's going to be a little... That'll be a little annoying. So, I want this to go down quicker. I don't even think I really need this other sustain. I'm going to try it with no sustain. Active, deactive, should be chopping... System's going to go through, probably should be done. Goes down, but then it goes right back up. So I probably will need these delays. In, but I would need these delays after the sustains, or before the sus no, after the sustains. Yes. So basically, I'm going back to my old system, but a little better. Uh, that means I have to get rid of that wire that I just wired. Okay, let me... Well, I didn't really have to get rid of that because I'm not using the sustain. Let me just chop that out. I'll put in one delay. Is it max? It is max. I'll try it with one delay, see how that works. Connect it up. Route. What? Oh, I guess that might work. If it does, I'll be surprised. But. And just direct route because it's not going to be seen. Finish. That works. Okay, so I press down on the pressure plate. It chops. It's going to deactivate. And I'm done. Okay. Signal deactivated. Should be reactivating. Why is it still on? But then it just goes back up. That That's not going to be enough. Do I seriously have to add this another delay? I think I do. Or I just totally don't know what I'm doing. But I think I have somewhere. Yeah, it should be all the way up. Let me just see. Yeah, it's all the way up. Okay, so now time to do this again. And I, I think this will be the last time that I'll have to... Uh, but it should start over here. It should be the last time I have to do this. Yeah, this should be the last time I have to do this.
works great. No, it doesn't. Wow. So you're saying I have to redo this whole wire now. There needs to be something that you can, like, only do one wire segment. Like, replaced because... Or see if it'll actually work. Like a preview mode. To see if your wire will actually work. Instead of failing and not working like mine just did. And it's going to say wire section too short. When I try to attach. Nope. Not yet. Okay, let's hope this works. Yep. Well, I better just keep it on. Okay, it's done chopping. Whoopie doo. Going through. Um. Okay, it goes down. But that, oh, yeah, that was the first one. I think. Try it again. Done chopping. Goes down. Allows wood to pass through. Which that will work better. And if I really have to, I could just hold it down longer. Oh, forgot one thing. Got to attach my manually disable. Basically how this is going to work is... Go there, go there. Oh, looks like zero just left. Oh. Um. That's not what I want. Yeah. I don't care about neatness now. So manually disable if it would attach. Should be able to stop it. I'm just going to run it a little longer so I don't have to go through. That should fit. Yep, and that should stop it, but the sawmill is going, which that could be an issue. That could be a pretty bad issue. Um, that's great. Do I have to add in another thing to where I can manually stop that? And just have it go through because that would be kind of trash. Um, great. Wait, what was that? What just happened? I don't think I turned that off. Did I step on the pressure plate? Did that deactivate it? Whoa. Did that just deactivate everything? Okay. So, I think what I'm going to have to do for the manual disable is to add in more stuff. Great. And go to my components bin. Oh, it should be the correct one. Basically, take one of these. I think I'm just going to put it underneath here. Just to stop it with the clutterness. And it shouldn't glitch out too bad. I need another. need more wires, but. No, I don't. I need one. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to have this input from here, go over here, 
It's going to go all the way down the line and probably be too long. It's going to input here. Okay. So that's going to input there. Yeah. Now I'm going to just activate this because I can. And then I'm going to take this and instead of the other one, wait, would that interfere? That might, but I think it's low enough for right now. That's going to go there. I'm just going to route it to there. Have it goes. Oh, somewhat straight down. It's going to have to go there because. Climb over the wire. Underneath here. Over here. And there. Okay, and then if I want it to activate, this is going to be on. So now I'll have to put this down to get the system set up right. And then, oh, I got extra wires. Don't know where that came from, but whatever. This is going to come from here go over here and input here then that should keep it up and if I want to manually disable that all I have to do is turn this off and it turns down that's good now I can take this again Put it here, maybe, hopefully. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be a little mad. Looks like it'll work. Placing blueprints on this game is kind of annoying. Let me try to place it from this side. I think one of the warriors is interfering, sadly. Which way would it be? This one. That's it. That is the wire. For sure. If that's not the wire, I don't know what wire it is. Yeah, it would have to be. Oh, this is... Move this. Go this here. Um, okay. Didn't want it there. I'm just going to place a little wire here. Have it go there. Then do the whole thing again with the connection. I don't know if that'll work, but I kind of want to see. So that should be connected now. And I'm just going to hope I can place this. Great, I just activated that. Uh, let it spawn in because blueprints are annoying. There we go. It was the wire. Pretty sure. I had it for a second. Yes. Place these three. And it's pretty much done. Yes, 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 yes.
Let me try it with this one. That one work. Let me try it with this one now. That works too. Okay, looking good. Oh, red's here. Um take this, put it back where it was on my mill. Gonna take this. Retach that to that to up here over here and up. Oh, sad. Okay, so it looks like I'm just going to have to say go there over here and up here I kinda like the neon wire that should work yep that looks good okay guys so I'm gonna stop the video here this is my new wood setup that works somewhat better than the other one. So this is Baconator77, aka CTM Games, signing off. Bye.